All right, so I want to do a quick video because I've had a box coming in of teas from Traditional Medicinals that I've been waiting on for about a week or so, maybe a little bit less than a week. But I wanted to do this video because it just so happens at the same time I had received comments about teas, like how I formulate my own teas for myself and what sorts of teas do I drink. And I have no problem formulating I say formulating, but it's quite simple. I have no problem making teas at home for myself uh, just to get straight to the point on something I might need. Almost every night I drink uh, chamomile tea, which of course is nothing more than just chamomile flowers, so it's nothing really, you know, fancy. Um, also lemon balm tea, you know, any little blends I make for myself in here that have a couple of teas together, they're very basic. It's not an elaborate tea recipe or formulation. I am not an herbalist. Uh, a lot of the teas that I make for myself when it comes to loose herb material is pretty much recipes that I find either in my herbal books or podcasts or stuff like that. I wanted to mention quickly, by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of this, but I just really wanted to share this information because I feel like a lot of you could benefit from it. I am a member of HerbMentor.com, which is an incredible resource for those of you out there wanting to um, learn more about herbs and, you know, just in general, how to bring them into your life and how to use them medicinally. So they have podcasts, radio, um, They've obviously got little video clips of herbalists talking from different conferences. Uh, it's You can learn so much. There's a message board on there with well-known, experienced herbalists, so you can bounce ideas off of them. I've used them. They're kind of in cahoots with Mountain Rose, uh, with Mountain Rose Herbs. I don't know if it's the same person that owns both companies, but I've been using that website and Mountain Rose Herbs products for well over 10 years. I mean, it's an incredible resource. I really suggest you go check it out. So I would never formulate a tea for somebody else, for example, because I'm not an herbalist and teas can kind of interact, you know, plants, medicines can interact with other medicines. So if you're on any sort of antidepressants, even if you're on birth control, certain teas, certain herbs can mess with that. So I would never formulate something for somebody. For myself, I know myself and I know my body. Um, I know it works for me and the same thing can be said for you you know I think if you really if you're on medication I would run it across um, an herbalist first or even your doctor just to make sure it's safe for you to take but really dive into the literature check out that website um, you you can find a lot of really simple recipes now that being said when I'm talking about store-bought uh, teas that come like in little pouches I'm talking about traditional medicinals. They are essentially the only tea company that I order my teas from. And these again are medicinal teas, herbal teas. This is not, um, I mean, not that I would be against it, but um, black teas and whatnot, I kind of go a different route, but if I'm just wanting, you know, like caffeine. But when I want medicine, I go to these this company. So recently I was sick which led me to go on their website because I normally buy my teas from vitacost.com. All this information I'm gonna leave down below if you guys are interested, but they have a lot of these products kind of discounted, whether it be 10% off or more. So I tend to always buy them on there, but the problem with traditional medicinals is they get sold out. So even as something as simple as chamomile tea would be sold out on there. So this was the first time I actually went to their website. Now, obviously, when you go on their website, there is so many more options than when you're buying a third party through another seller. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got that I am so excited to try. Um, let's go back for one second. I was recently sick. Staple teas I keep in my house. Their Gypsy Cold Care tea is absolutely incredible. Their throat coat. I get a lot of throat infections, and yes, I still have my tonsils. I have not removed them. Um, throat coat tea for a sore throat, anything. Incredible. They have a Breathe Easy Tea. I use that as well. Those are my, my common, you know, I've got a cold. Anyone in the house is cold. My husband has a cold. I give them those teas. I also have this, Echinacea Plus. This is um, with elderberry. Let's see what's, what's in it. 
echinacea elderflower so the root and the and the herb it says of echinacea ginger chamomile yarrow peppermint um, and another thing too I will say is I like the taste of their teas they're not offensive to me at all and actually over time you end up craving them um, you know something like an anise flavor that maybe to some people might be off-putting uh, for me once I'm drinking it it actually becomes something quite pleasant that I enjoy so this is a nice one to have just to kind of boost when you feel like you're getting something remember echinacea is actually really good to use preventatively when you're in the middle of it it's really not going to do much so i would go on a different avenue but when i feel something coming on i go to that now let me show you what i got i'm so excited to try these okay so for women i got the organic healthy cycle uh, I feel like the last two periods I had, I told myself, why don't I have tea for when I have my period? <laughs> so I made it a point. I'm going to get one for my reproductive system right here. It's got, of course, raspberry leaf, licorice root, nettle, dandelion. It also has spearmint, rosehip, lemon verbena, West Indian lemongrass, ginger, and chamomile. So this is going to be really soothing, really calming. I think really toning to the uterus. Where does it say that? Yeah, it says herbal tonics gently nurture the body to promote balance and good health. Pretty much in a general, yeah, it says it supports healthy menstruation. I think this is just very balancing. So I'm going to try this next period I get, but um, looks great. I'm excited for that. Okay, here's one I'm really excited about. <laughs> I keep saying that's all of them. Okay, this is Cup of Sunshine Tea. It says a, it promotes a good mood. So this one has um, honey bush herb and canna herb. So I don't know what canna is. Canna? Canna? I gotta do more research on that. But it says essentially... It's a low growing, canna is a low growing herbaceous succulent that thrives in South Africa. So native tribes consider canna sacred and have used it in healing rituals for generations. We love it for its mood lifting benefits that make any day feel a little sunny, feel like a little sunny afternoon on the beach. So combined with sweet sun kissed notes of honey bush, uh, it reassures you that everything's going to be all right. So it says it's smooth and slightly sweet with honey roasted notes. I'm going to try this now. I got to go pick up the boys. In a little bit i just had like about 10 15 minutes to do this but i'm gonna try that that looks so amazing okay turmeric metal sweet and ginger i was really listening recently listening to an herbal podcast where they were talking about let me see if i can get this too yeah where they were talking about how metal sweet is just like a really good tasting herb to put into herbal formulations and blends so obviously turmeric anti-inflammatory and ginger um and that's all that's in here, period. That's it. I'm going to try to see if I can use this to make kind of like a golden latte at home. So when I want a little like warm, creamy kind of latte treat, but I do want some anti-inflammatory, maybe I'm feeling a little under the weather. I do want that ginger in there or some belly upset. Um, I just, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to try to make a latte from it and see how it tastes. And the last one that I'm super excited about, I think it's a brand new one they have. It's reishi mushroom with rooibos and orange peel. I'm very excited about this. Oh man. Okay, so obviously the reishi mushroom is gonna help support your immune system. Um, oh, I, I guess on here they're just really going off about that. You know, the mushroom of immortality. It's gaining popularity in the West for its ability to support the immune system and help keep the body in balance. So we created this sweet and citrusy blend with rooibos and orange peel for gentle daily immune support. Again, my mind was in the, let me get myself balanced back to normal here. And the only thing in here is, yeah, orange peel, orange peel oil, rooibos blend of tea, and then the reishi uh, fruiting body dry aqueous extract. So I'm wondering, is that, how did they, is that like a tincture type where they like extract the goodness and then they put that in here i don't know i'm curious um i really want to try this as well i don't know if trying this with a little bit of milk 
you know like almond milk or hazelnut milk or something how that would be but i'm so excited to try these new teas i'll let you know how they go but i just wanted to do this quick one because i did get a couple comments about it so i figured why not show you the types of things that i drink they're really beneficial i like them not only for the morning time but they're really nice to have as like a little in-between treat so if you're in between meals and you just want a little something but you don't necessarily want to eat something this is always a nice little cup of tea is so nice to have especially after dinner winding down getting ready for bed i always pour myself a cup of tea um, going out to the garden have a cup of tea it's so nice it's so nice to do i really i really hope you guys get into it so check that out this is not a sponsored video at all like i said i just wanted to share this information with you if you have any other questions about um any teas or things that i herbal supplements or things that i take on the daily just let me know in the comments below otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one